you know, I am so used to hearing the noise like right below me because of my exhaust. It's so nice to hear it where it's, well, actually where it's supposed to be. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to the video. This is a 2010 Camaro. 2010 Camaro, the fifth gen Camaro, the Camaro that came after the notorious F-Body or the Fish Mero. And I remember when the fifth gen Camaros finally came out. I remember seeing one oddly enough at Hershey was being displayed. It was yellow. I would have to say this is when GM finally figured out how to build an American car and not make it look like, well, an American car. This is what I mean by that. Oh God. Wow. It goes in the gear quite smoothly, I will say. I'm, you know, I'm still getting used to the shifter, but that's very nice. That's a Hurst short shifter, by the way. And oddly enough, that's a factory option, which I find very, very cool. They took it away later years. I guess they didn't sell enough, but that's pretty cool. You know, they had a Hurst short shifter option for a GM car. I don't remember the last time that was offered, but it's pretty cool. It, he told me it rattles a little bit. I don't know what the cause of that is, but um, it does shift smoothly. It's very, I've never really driven a car that's as notchy as this one, but it's definitely an interesting experience. You know, let's downshift a little bit. Okay, okay. This car belongs to my buddy, Chris. We met, it was about a year ago, I think, something around there, we met at Katie's Cars and Coffee. We just said hi, whatnot. And then we met at Clean Culture Maryland, the first video, he's in that video. There wasn't any revving, he just was cruising in. You could see the halos and everything. And he was also in the second Clean Culture video I did, but that time, well, you know, it was doing itself justice. <laughs> But Chris has done a bunch of stuff to this car. It's got some nice pieces all around it. You know, it's got full bolt-ons. Um, it's got a cam. I don't know the cam specifics, but this is what you guys really want to know. It makes 487 to the tire, and I think he said 440 torque. I might be wrong on that. If I'm wrong, I'll put it in the title something right here, what it actually is. But it's definitely not a slouch. I went through one gear, and I knew this thing was fast. <laughs> but besides full bolt-ons, it's obviously got the Hurst shifter, but that's, you know, that was a factory option at the time. I still consider that a mod because you never see that anymore. <laughs> It's got a different hood, which is way more aggressive than the factory. And I really like it because it matches the rest of the factory stickers, the factory, you know, like vinyl, whatever, the stripes that are on the car that matches that, which I think is very, very cool. But by far the most distinctive feature on this car are the halos, the color changing halos that can make any car look cool. Well, for the most part, you know, I can't tell you how many glamour shots of this car I've taken of just those damn halos. They look great. They look really, really cool. And you can change the color from the phone and everything. And, you know, I looked at the install, like where it was under the hood. It wasn't, you know, crazy. You would think there would be wiring everywhere. It's all very nice and seamless and plugs in. So, you know, you don't see wires everywhere, which I do appreciate. Overall, the car drives very well. I love the fact that at idle, it, the whole car shakes. I really like that. When I drove Jeffrey's Viper a long time ago, it did the same thing. It didn't have any cam or anything, but the whole car, you know, shook. He's got 275s on the back. So he specifically told me don't do anything in first gear, but we can't do second gear. I'm impressed. That's good. <laughs> that was fantastic. She definitely moves for a heavy girl. Camaros aren't exactly the lightest car, but at the same time, there are much heavier ones. <laughs> but yeah, it really moves. It feels very, very good. The shifting is very precise. It feels good. You know, I love the shifter on this thing. By the way, the rims on this car, before I forget, I might be completely off, but if I'm not mistaken, they are Zamora RC10 rims. And they're in this, I think he said it was called laser blue, midnight blue, but man, does it look good. Um, he's a fan of blue and he didn't just want to go completely murdered out and the wheels at a very You only can see it in certain light But it has a very cool contrast between you know the matte black and the actual gloss black And then you've got these wheels that really stand out in the sunlight at certain angles. I love it Very nice very nice I'm very impressed with the power delivery on this car. It's very linear. Um, you know, maybe I haven't driven enough cars to really say that, but you know, it feels very smooth and it feels very gradual. It doesn't feel like all of a sudden you get power at a certain RPM. My Corvette kind of does that, but this feels very good. And for all that are wondering and think it's a myth that Camaros like fifth gens have like really bad visibility. It's not a myth. It's true. You can't see jack shit out of this car, but in my head, that doesn't matter when it sounds like this. Like that, that's good. <laughs> By the way, the exhaust on this is a Corsa exhaust. I don't know if it's a full Corsa exhaust, but it's at least Corsa mufflers. That's what it says on the tips. But it also, something that it has that everybody loves, it's got two-step. 
and you know everybody loves that you know clean culture and it was very fun to see this you know two stepping at the uh, the event and everything but either way two steps a lot of fun you know i'm not gonna say i'm a car reviewer because i'm not i wish i was but um i will say that you know the interior in this car for a gm car and everybody knows gm's rep for interiors um knows what that statement means <laughs> um this has a surprisingly nice interior you know yes there are plastic pieces all over the place but for the first time this feels like the interior of a camaro you know what i mean like the the fourth gen f bodies if you guys remember the interior looked like they just ripped that out of a van almost <laughs> um and same with the corvette the corvette of that generation looked like trash too you know some people they compare these cars. i know that some people compare like these camaros to you know mustangs of kind of the same era people compare mustangs to camaros all the time i mean they're kind of the pony cars of gms corvettes like the upper echelon sports car if you will but the Camaro is kind of the pony car. It's the muscle car. It's the, I want to go bullet fast in a straight line and I don't care about anything else car. Now the motor in this thing, I might be wrong. And if I am, the entire comment section will lose its mind, but there's an LS3 under here. And well, it's, it, it's an LS. <laughs> I mean, what else do you need to know from that? But going back to comparing this to like a Mustang of a similar era, like a 2010 Mustang or whatnot with the Coyote motor and comparing this with an LS motor, I don't know, man. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure on paper, a Camaro will win, you know, just like bone stock, bone stock. Is better or faster than the Mustang? I have no clue. Will I say it's better or faster than the Mustang? Of course I will, because I like Chevy. <laughs> I always like the fact that they put the gauges here for um, like, you know, they've got PSI, they got voltmeter, they got oil temp here, they got the trans temp. I love that. That's really cool to me. I understand why people like LS cars. End of story. You can, you can make this a video just about LS cars. I understand why people buy LS cars. They buy piece of shit C5s and they just want the LS out of them. I understand it. I love, th this is very cool. Also something Chris did that I thought that was really, really cool was he put sequential taillights on here, which is, you know, it's a Mustang thing, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I think this car rocks it a little bit better than Mustangs. Honestly, guy, I think it looks better. I think the taillights look a little bit more aggressive. They're also smoked, which I think is very cool. Hey, a C4, hey! And it's yellow. Do you know how rare yellow C4s are? And then Chris has got this beautiful carbon side skirt. I have no idea who makes this, but it looks really, really good on the car. All the little pieces that have been added to this car to add to the, you know, the murdered outlook, I think really make the car look good. I really like it. But really, the interior of this car doesn't feel like a GM interior. It feels like the Camaro's interior. It's got its own custom, you know, font and its own design with the gauges and the different gauges right here. And the, it actually looks like time was put into this car as opposed to the F-Body's interior where it was like, okay, we figured out what motor we're going to put on it. It's a great motor. Great. It's fantastic. We love it. We figured out the body style. It's not great, but, you know, it, it's okay. You know, we can deal with it. The interior, shit, we didn't pay the guy to do the interior. Just, Johnny, grab the interior from the caravan and change it a little bit. Chris did a great job with the mods on this car. All of them, they don't they don't feel like they're overdone. They don't feel ricey. They don't feel like they don't need to be there. They all feel like things that could have been factory, honestly. My favorite part besides the power on this car is just the wheels, man. I love those wheels. They look so good with this car. I think by far that's the best part of it. Chris told me the shifter rattles. I have no idea why that's the case, but you know, it, it works, <laughs> it works. But that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed the Camaro review comparison with the Mustang, uh, I, I don't know, the overview of this car as you will, please hit the like button for me. Subscribe if this is the first time you're stopping in seeing me. Thank you guys for watching. All y'all have a fantastic day. That was good. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we can trade now. Quite soon. I turned it on to hear the exhaust. It's fun, right? I have no idea how to take the damn key out. Oh yeah, there's a button on the side. Yeah, I was about to say, it says security. I'm like, for what? I'm like, what am I doing? This was fun.